The Cordite has always had a cult following in Call of Duty Mobile, especially by Dispos who requested this video. While not widely used, it has a lot of plus points that really make it something to be feared in the game. The Cordite features an insane ammo count potential, giving players a massive staying power on the battlefield. Paired with good mobility and accuracy, this is not a weapon to be sniffed at. The base hipfire of the Cordite also gives the gun a pretty fearsome close quarters combat potential. I have a few multiplayer gunsmith builds for you and a Battle Royale one of course. The first build is my preferred. We push out the damage range while maintaining the accuracy. I call this a passive build but to be honest with you it will still work well in close quarters. I build this with no laser to allow for some very clean passive ranked play. Up next is a more aggressive build. This one does feature a laser so be aware of that but the focus is on giving us a good reaction time with ADS kills. With the base hit fire I mentioned earlier, this will work really, really well. Lastly for multiplayer, I present a hit fire build. Why not? Let's work on that. This will work well on maps such as Shipman and even up to Nuketown type ranges. If you're more of a fan of the wild hit fire perk, you could pull the foregrip for it. For me, I never really like that perk very much. For BR, I continue to use the same hit fire build. Given that amazing base hit fire which does carry across to BR, we can crush enemies at 20 meters range without actually having to use the mod. This actually leaves us a lot of room in the mods to actually work on the range. So long range, precise, and I quite like the vertical mods. You can use an extended, but it's not really required with the amount of rounds you're going to have to fire. If you found this useful, please do drop a like. You can also check out another video over here.